In this week's Spanish lesson, we are going to look at how to express can I have? Can I have? And this is an expression which is very often used in English, but it doesn't quite translate into Spanish. The way can I have is used in Spanish it can often sound a bit rude to the English ear, but it's simply more direct. So let's say a, a thirsty child comes in and wants to say, can I have some water? In Spanish, the child would just say, I want water. I want water. And that's not in any way rude. It's just the direct way of saying it. So in English, can I have some water? In Spanish, quiero agua. Quiero agua. And of course, if you hear a child say this, you'll hear the, the tone, the sound of the voice. It's not rude. It's just the, the child saying it in exactly the same way as a child would say, can I have some water? So, quiero agua. Quiero agua. If they're asking for juice, quiero zumo. Quiero zumo. So they might come in and say, Papá, quiero agua, por favor. O mamá, quiero zumo, por favor. Can I have a biscuit? It would be, I want a biscuit. Una galleta is a biscuit. Una galleta is a biscuit. So how would they say, can I have a biscuit? Quiero una galleta. Quiero una galleta. And if you're in a bar, for example, you can use the same expression, the same way of expressing it. So to say, can I have a coffee? It's fine to say, I want a coffee. Quiero un café, por favor. Quiero un café, por favor. I want, or can I have, two beers? Quiero dos cervezas, por favor. Quiero dos cervezas, por favor. And there is another very common way of requesting something in a bar or a restaurant, particularly a drink, and you would say, ¿Me pones un café? ¿Me pones un café? And this is in the form of a request. Literally, me pones, you put me, un café, a coffee. You put me a coffee. Can you put me a coffee? So, me pones un café? Me pones un café? How would you say, can I have two beers, using this expression? Can I have two beers? Me pones dos cervezas. Me pones dos cervezas. And using this, how would you say, can I have a water? Can I have a water? Me pones un agua. Me pones un agua. And when your can I have can I have means, can you give me, can you give me, then we say, me das, me das un lapiz, can I have a pencil, but it actually means, can you give me a pencil, a child might say to a teacher. Can you give me a pencil? Can I have a pencil? Me das un lapiz? Me das un lapiz? They might say, Can I have some money or can I have money for the fair? Me das dinero para la feria? Me das dinero para la feria? So can you give me? You might want to say, you haven't had your change back. 
when you're in a bar or restaurant, you might want to say, can I have the change? And what you mean is, can you give me the change? So you say, me das el cambio? Me das el cambio, por favor? Me das el cambio? Can I have the change? How would you ask, can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? So you're saying, can you give me a kiss? And a kiss is un beso, un beso. So how would you say, can I have a kiss? Me das un beso? Me das un beso? So let's put all that together and we'll practice it using this grid. So first of all, we learned that we can say quiero, and that's the direct way of saying can I have, as in I want something. And it's not rude, as long as you use a polite intonation, it's not rude to say I want something in Spanish. So quiero, quiero, quiero. Then we had me pones. So you sit down in a cafe and the waiter or waitress comes and you can say me pones and whatever it is that you would like. And then finally we saw that me das, so you give me, me das, or can you give me, is used for when can I have refers to somebody that you want somebody to give you something. And let's look in the second column. So we've got un agua con gas. So that's a sparkling water, literally a water with gas. Un agua con gas. Otra cerveza. That's another beer. And you don't need un otra or una otra. You just need otra. Otra means another. It means other and another. Otra cerveza, another beer. El cambio is the change, el cambio. Tu número de teléfono, tu número de teléfono. Your phone number. Una copa de vino, una copa de vino. A glass of wine. And finally, un bolígrafo, un bolígrafo. A pen. Okay, so how would you say, can I have another beer? Can I have another beer? Me pones otra cerveza? Me pones otra cerveza? You could, of course, also say, quiero otra cerveza. Quiero otra cerveza. How would you say, can I have the change? Can I have the change? Me das el cambio? Me das el cambio? Me das el cambio? You could actually say, quiero el cambio. I want the change. In this particular case, if you said, if it was, for example, they'd forgotten to give you the change, if you said, I want the change, quiero el cambio, uh, it might, it wouldn't sound necessarily rude, it might sound a bit over-assertive, though. How would you say, can I have your phone number? Can I have your phone number? Me das tu número de teléfono? Me das tu número de teléfono? And they might also just say, me das tu teléfono? Implying that's the telephone number. Me das tu teléfono? How would you say, can I have a glass of wine? Can I have a glass of wine? Me pones una copa de vino? Me pones una copa de vino? And it could be una copa de vino tinto, a glass of red wine, 
una copa de vino blanco. ¿Me pones una copa de vino blanco, por favor? And of course, you could also say that, quiero. How would you say, can I have a pen? Can I have a pen? ¿Me das un bolígrafo? ¿Me das un bolígrafo? That's how you use the expression, can I have, in Spanish. For more videos and for the full beginners to conversational fluency in Spanish, then visit prospanish.co.uk.